and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson, I'm going to show you how to use an if then else command within your projects. So what we have here is a cat and he's set to say when the green flag is clicked, he's going to ask us what is one plus two. This is where we'll then want to put in an if then else statement so that it, we have something if, if we get it right, the cat will do one thing, if we get it wrong, the cat will do something else. So let's go to our control and we can use the if, instead of the if then that's here, we will use the if then else. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to fill in this little hexagon with what the question is. So what we're going to do, if we're going to go to the operator and we're going to get this one here that's got if something is equal to something. So we know the answer to 1 plus 2 is 3. So if, if the answer is equal to 3, now we need to do is we need to fill in this little box with the answer, which we find under sensing. Let's go and get answer and pop that in there. If the answer the person gives is equal to 3, then we're going to say correct. Else, which means if they didn't put in the right answer, they didn't put in 3, then we're going to say incorrect. The answer is 3. Shall we have a look at how that works? So we click the green flag, the cat answers what is one plus two. If I answer with three, it says correct. Let's try again, I'll click the green flag, one plus two, and what if I put in the answer as eight, which we know is not right, and I'll hit that, it'll say incorrect, the answer is three. So we've We've told the cat what to do if I get my answer right, it's going to say one thing. If I get my answer wrong, it's going to say something else. And that's how you use an if-then-else within Scratch. Thanks for watching. Splotch Code.